Hi, this is your rooftop gardener, and today we will learn something about a bacteria, and it is called Lactobacillus. If we want to gather lactobacilli, we use milk, capture them, and then continually feed them with sugar, and that is the molasses. If you have a poultry and you want to eradicate the smell of the poops, chicken poops, chicken dung, chicken manure, you can spray lactobacilli concoction and it will totally remove the smell you try it since lactobacilli are good bacteria farmers and gardeners use them to combat bad bacteria bacteria that cause diseases in plants as well as in animals if you are a fan of your cult you find lactobacilli in your cult and they are really good for the digestive system they combat bad bacteria inside our body This one doesn't look good. So we will use this. So what we need is a gauze to filter the liquid.
it's soury and at the same time sweet. This, in fact, I can put in the compost. Good bacteria. Uh, lactobacillus or lactobacilli bacteria. They help in uh, eradicating bad smell, which, in fact, uh, killing off other bad bacteria. These are the army bacteria that we can use in a compost. This is in fact the cheese. This is cheese because this comes from the milk. This is the milk. cheese coming from the milk have here right now is a liquid full of lactobacilli. Now we want to propagate these microorganisms by giving them food, by feeding them and the primary food is sugar and we will feed them with sugar through the molasses. We will mix this lactobacillus with molasses in a one-to-one -one ratio. Now uh, it doesn't really matter whether we have little uh, lactobacilli and too much molasses because in organic gardening uh, it can uh, be very forgiving. So. There's no fear of having too much of this. Okay, so let's feed the bacteria. So you can see how the molasses fills up the container and the lactobacillus liquid is floating so as you may have noticed this is a liquid full of lactobacilli and like I mentioned earlier that the smell is soury, sweet, and uh, I'd like to point out that as I was working on this one, just here in the video, we don't see any flies coming over. If this is a, a, a smell, a pungent smell or a bad smell, but flies will swarm in here. You don't see any fly, not one single fly. So we're actually doing a good thing here. 
and we are doing a good thing because we are working on a good bacteria and the good bacteria can help us in our gardening and not only in gardening but in our home we can use this to spray on our toilet smelling toilet or smelling uh, garbage bins any part of our house we can use this to spray so that we can get rid of the smell okay more on that later so let me close this now I don't really have to shake this I don't have to shake this because uh, the bacteria will just slowly heat up the liquid I mean the molasses here and I'll just keep this this can stay for years as long as you keep feeding them now if you want to multiply this uh, lactobacilli after 21 days three weeks they would have multiplied and have eaten all those sugars and what you can do is to get another set of molasses get another one of these divide and put molasses one to one one to one ratio and by the time you will have another set but actually two so you have one divide this you will have two two sets of lactobacillus concoction so that's how we multiply this like I said lactobacilli bacteria they are everywhere and they can help us in the garden so here it is after 21 days I can use this in the garden I can use this to spray on the leaves of foliar fertilizer Just leave this out of this. Right now we are done. We are done uh, making our lacto bacilli concoction. In the next video, I will show you how I started making or gathering lacto bacilli. How do we gather lacto bacilli? I'd like to show you that. And I hope you stay tuned. So that we will learn more of the lactobacilli. Thank you for watching.